Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of Wingspan and uh, yeah, just continuing my uh, little series of uh, practice games uh, from the Wingspan tournament server and uh, yeah, very different vibe from my uh, usual videos with uh, all the Fury of Dracula content very intense um, games of deduction and combat and gothic horror themes and all that sort of thing and um, stopping vampires from rampaging across Europe and so it's very very calm just uh, collecting food and eggs and playing birds into their various habitats in order to get points and to build up the, the engine um, uh, you know engine efficiency and all that um, so yep um, Hopefully I can improve on my last um, showing uh, and try and get a win, but we'll have to see. Um, so uh, I'll uh, pause the recording and I'll jump back when I've got a game. Okay, we're back and we've got a game. Uh, I've lost the toss, so um, I'll be going second in this one. So let's wait for my opponent to um, pick cards and birds. Uh, for those of you who are maybe from my... Uh, regular videos and you don't know how Wingspan works, uh, you're given five bird cards and uh, the choice of one of each food type um, at the beginning of the game, uh, but you can only keep a maximum of five of those ten things. Um, so the more birds you keep, the less food you keep, um, vice versa. Uh, I'll be able to look at the bird tray now, obviously my opponent gets to go first. Uh, Malad might be okay to get more cards, but... In fact, it doesn't give me any points, it's a bit unfortunate. Osprey, potentially. Uh, I got all the end. I didn't talk about this in the previous video. I got all the end of round goals up here. Uh, they increase in point value throughout the game. So the first one is worth a maximum of four, then the last one's worth seven. Um, you've got all the. You know, each bird has its own uh, point value, and then you get extra points from laying eggs. Every egg is worth a point. Uh, you need eggs to also play birds. So you kind of giving up points to play more points. Um, you can tuck birds underneath, like this one here is tucking um, birds from the deck behind this bird, just a common starling, and every tucked bird gives you a point. Um, if you cash food onto a bird, that's also worth a point. Uh, you get bonus cards as well, which you select at the beginning of the game. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, yeah. So I've been playing in the tournament server now for a few months, but very sort of like sporadically. I'll have runs where I play a lot, and then I'll disappear for quite a bit, because I've just been busy with other things. Um, but I do want to enter a tournament at some point, but hopefully uh, I can, there'll be a tournament. The World Cup's on right now, um, and just because of timing I can't take part, but um, hopefully maybe in November I can uh, take part in a competition uh, before the Oceana expansion comes out, and uh, I'm forced to learn all the birds um, for competitions. So I'm not saying I'm going to win, far from it, but just to, just to try. If I can make these videos and then learn from them. Um, I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the tournament discord in terms of like starting hand analysis and stuff, but I just haven't had time to look at it that much. Something to my game. Oh, okay. I hear a bug. I'll come back <laughs> when it's fixed. Okay, I was a bit unlucky. We've had to um, remake, but uh, rather that than <laughs> all the way through the game. So everything, all the end of round goals and things have reset. Cards, uh, birds in forest. That's okay. I kind of like a forest start. Hopefully, I get the right sort of birds in the previous game. I got some decent wetland and forest birds, which is very expensive to play. Um, I probably should have done it in a slightly different order, but um, I'll leave, uh, leave it to people far more experienced than me to try and work out what I did wrong. Um, I think I know where I went wrong, though. Um, definitely should have blocked the Canada goose, but never mind. <laughs> or maybe I could have won even if he had Canada goose. Have to see. So yeah, my opponent's going first, so he'll pick and then um, 
Yeah, we just shared uh, screenshots from the game that got cancelled, and he got Pen Benelli Eagle in his uh, starting hand, which is quite funny. Sorry, I shouldn't say he, I should assume. Um, um, bird feed is pretty good. There's a little bit of everything. I don't want to touch anything just in case it breaks again. Uh, the starting hand is the thing that takes the longest in the game, which is because you're having to, it, you know, your entire game is dictated based on it, so you have to make the right decisions. It's understandable. Uh, apologies for not cutting this. If you want to skip forward, you can do so. Apologies, I'm talking a bit quietly too. There we go. Um, it's late at night for me. Okay, what have we got? Um. Hmm. Well, good stuff for the forest. Um, don't really have. Oh, partridge. Hmm, partridge isn't bad. I get a lot of eggs if I get down early, especially on the chipping spot. Am I going to run out of egg space? That might be a problem. I have no wetlands at all. <sighs> That's a problem. That's a big problem. Um, I guess, do I just try to get these two down ASAP and then dig for cards? If I do this, I get one because I'd be able to get two seeds, I get the partridge, but then why, where am I going to get my wetland from? I don't really want to keep the song sparrow just for the wetland. Uh, Pigby nut hat. Okay, let's see what my bonus cards are. Hmm, I normally go for ecologists if I can get it, because I normally get three birds in each habitat. I normally try to play a little bit more balanced, unless there's like a really obvious like grassland only engine to be played. So, I kind of like that. And get eggs on the sparrow, food and tucks with the hawk. So I don't need to go into the. Um, I don't have to go into the. Um, what's it called? Into the grassland for a little while. So I can't get the partridge down immediately, it's not a problem. If something really good comes up in the tray, I can nick it. Um, I think I might just go for this. Unless. Do I keep the heron so I can get another. Do I really get the hooded crow? Oh, that sounds terrible. Do I put, did I get the heron so then I can try and do a double play in the wetlands? To get that built out fast and I just ignore the partridge. Yeah, you know what? I might actually do that. Is there a fish in the bird feeder? I think there is, right? There is a fish in the bird feeder. <sighs> so then if a cheap Wetland bird comes up, I can just play it immediately. And play with these two. Yeah. You know what? Let's go for it. I might take the partridge. If I can, but I'll need to get... Oh, but the heron's not very good for that. It hasn't got a lot of egg space. Right, I'll see if this gamble pays off. I won't be getting a lot of food, but at least I can get the um, forest up quite quickly. Ooh, hawk. Do I take you? What did he take? Partridge. Okay. So I should be assuming my opponents are here. Um, no, let's just stick to the plan. Let's get the sparrow down. And get food. If I want to pick up the hawk, I can pick up the hawk. I could go hawk, heron. That's a lot of food I'll need though. I'll be able to lay quite a lot of eggs, so, eh, you know, it might work out. That red tailed hawk didn't do good things for me last game. What one's that? Cardinal. Is that the one that gives you berries? It is, okay. All players? Ah! That's quite a good one. Um, okay, let's get some food. Let's get the fish, because that's probably the more vital thing right now. Um, 
can get the hawk down. I can pick up food. Do I get the hawk? I need a second rodent. I don't know where I'm going to get it from. So I'm kind of n not really keen to get the hawk, to be honest. Um... Wood duck would be pretty good here. Because I could get cards and eggs in the forest, but wood duck's not showing, so I mean, I might get lucky, but. Right, let's just get this played. Get some food, get another egg, and then I'll dig. But the problem is, because I'm only getting one card a turn, it's not very efficient. Get my opponent. This doesn't really scream wetland. Unless my opponent has wood duck, and that would suck. Yeah, I think you've got wood duck based on that. I think wood duck has berry and two drain, I think. Uh, do I take rodent? Maybe. I might be able to get a second rodent. Let's try, let's reroll. I do, right, I might have to get that hawk after all. Ah, oh, I made a good one to pick up. Oh well, never mind. Never mind, okay. I'll get the hawk now, to guarantee it. Get more food, play both birds. And I'll dig. At least I can get two birds in the forest. He might be able to beat me on that if he just keeps running that. He needs eggs though. So you definitely won't be playing Wood Duck this turn. Cool. Okay, let's get this Hawk, and I really hope I don't get denied something now. It's not the best start I've ever had, but... Oh, you've got to be kidding me! <laughs> no! No! Oh! Oh! Oh, this is so sad. He... There's no way my opponent leaves Wood Duck. Nah, no chance. Oh! Oh! Curses. <laughs> oh man, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna get a seed here so he can't reset the tray. Oh, that's very, very sad. Oh. Oh. oh well, enjoy that wood duck. I hope it's. So what on earth does he pull? What on earth does my opponent have? He doesn't have wood duck for this. this food. Um. Can I get Wagtail? I'm not going to get many eggs this round, that's the thing. Yeah, oh, this is just so strong now, he can get... No eggs, though. Let's get this down. Spend an egg. Okay. So I've got... I've got... I'm going to gain points. Yeah, that's quite a lot of points I've got already. So that's pretty good, to be honest. Um... Can my opponent get another one down in the forest? Maybe. I can't compete if I wanted to, so I'm just going to get cards. And I really hope I get something decent. Next round. Cardinal's actually really good this first slot, because Partridge can just fill that up. Ah, Wood Duck. Oh, Wood Duck, why? I could have avoided all of this. Ah. Well, at least if I'm activating both these habitats, I'm quite likely to get a tuck each time, so that's decent. Um, worth four points, I'm getting two right off the bat. So that's decent. So this heron is an example of one of these birds that it just has a when played power, it's not one that activates every time you go into the habitat. Do I get the wagtail? I don't know if I'm going to get eggs very much. And it requires a lot of planning to get Wagtail. Let's just dive in. Cowbird. Yeah, that's good, because I can play that immediately. That's not so good, though. Okay, that's alright. Cowbird's pretty good, because I can get it played immediately. And, he, and there's no other egg access, so I'm gonna ha yeah, he's gonna have to keep going to the um. Is there something? Is there something here I want? 
Um, Sap Sucker is decent. Harrier is also pretty good. I can get a Predator in each. Um, each habitat. This is where he gets like Goldfinch now, just to screw me over. Um, Sap Sucker is decent. So do I pick up these two from the tray? Do I need the Harrier though? No, I might draw one. Oh, that's alright. Yeah, let's take the Sap Sucker. Okay, that's another one. Ah, great tits. Great tits, decent. But this is cheaper. Oh, there's no berry in the tray though. I have to wait. I'll get Cowbird down first. Um, and then. Tipmouse, I can get down. So he doesn't take that worm from me. So I can get cash every time. You know what? That's actually pretty good. I can probably ditch this Herod to get more food and get something out. I might be alright. Harrier. Harrier and Wetland might not be too bad. Gain food. Okay, let's play Cowbird. Okay, he has one, uh, one egg. So I probably shouldn't play Cowbird until... Ah, the... Look at the tray. Oh, the bird feeder rubber. Um, well... I can re-roll, and I might... Yeah, let's re-roll. Come on, give me a grub. Come on. Yes! Got a grub. Let's go. Good. Another tuck. Excellent. Sweet. Okay, so I can get... Titmas and Cowbird down. I'm not going to play Cowbird until this egg gets used. Um, right, now I play Cowbird. So that cancels out the Partridge a little bit. Not much, but it's better than nothing. If I'm getting free eggs, I don't have to go to the grassland as often. It means I can get more eggs from the Chipping Sparrow ability. So that, I think, is going to work. So I'll get the Titmouse down. Do I try to get the Sapsucker down? No, maybe I dig and try and get a big card I can play. Let's think about this. Play Titmouse as one action. Dig for cards as a second action. Get food, play bird. I might be able to then guarantee this, but I think I might be alright. If I can get one in the wetland, that'd be perfect. Let's get Timas down. I need to keep this chipping spatter free because of Cowbird doing its thing. If I can get another one, like a cuckoo or something, that'd be great. You try and get white power birds as well for the um, end of round. I've got one already. If I can get a couple of bonus card birds, that might do the trick. Oh. Wow. Well, you don't need wetland ever, do you? That's strong. Uh, okay, then. Um, is there anything in this tree I really, really, really need? <sighs> I mean, my gut feeling is no. Ooh, that could work. Dick Sissel. Yeah. That could work out for me. Um, I'm gonna have to dig again. That's one. Is, is my opponent gonna be able to play another four point bird? I don't have. I mean, do I try to get the warbler down? It feels a little bit crap, but maybe to guarantee an around and also it helps cowbird because it has more, a little bit more bowl nest space. It helps the end of round thing as well. There's two worms in the tree. 
Yeah, I think I just take it, honestly. Cash, so I'm getting a point from that. Come on, give me another point. Ah, I kind of would have liked that cuckoo, but I'm getting a tuck, so I mean, it could be worse. Uh, let's lay on the two guys. So I can choose here, if my opponent plays a bird, that's worth more than four points, I can then play the Warbler. Do I play Warbler in the grasslands? Maybe, just try and fill it out for ecologist's sake. Hmm. This feels a lot more organized than the previous game. So I'm feeling confident, but my opponent's got wood duck and wood stalk, so, or white stalk, and partridge, so it's just, partridge isn't great here because he's got no wetland bird. Oh, thank you very much. So he's basically losing an egg every time by doing this. Uh, you didn't play a bird. Oh, that's right, I'm going first this round, aren't I? Right, I need to play this then to try and guarantee this end of round. Uh, forest or... get more food if I put it in there, but I'm losing out both my eggs. Hmm, what's going to be better later game? Uh, I can ditch a card for... Oh, I need to try and keep cards for this. Maybe I do put it in the forest. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I do, didn't even see what was in the tray. That's a problem with me, I just get fixated on what I need to do, and I don't actually look at the trays or anything I could have blocked. Ugh, if I guarantee the end of round, I mean, maybe it's just worth it. Today's Phoebe's not bad for me, it's got two boldness. And it's a white power. So yeah, I maybe should have taken that. I've got two already, so... Okay, that works. Wait, why did you play that? What did you play? You played Wild Turkey even though I played that thing first. Interesting, okay. Oh, Maganser's good for me. I might take Maganser and Warbler perhaps. Oh, yeah, my opponent's going for food. Yeah, I think I need to get Maganser and Warbler. <sighs> I wonder to get Maganser down. I'm going to get the Warbler. Sap sucker to get extra food. There's no berries. Like, where are the berries? Hmm. Oh, Chaffinch. Interesting. Um, hmm. I think I need my Ganser to feed this. So let's dig once. Let's go for my Ganser. Okay. Oh, Goldeneye. Can I utilize that? Nah, not really. I don't have many of these nests. Um. Pro oh. No, surely my opponent's not going to take Turkey Vulture to block all my... or to make my predator powers less strong. Um, so what do I need to do here? I need to get Dick Thistle down. I need to try and get a... Um, okay. Right, so that's your first one. Well, there's quite a lot of egg space, that's pretty good. Um... Let's get food. I need two of these. Reroll, try and get a fish, hopefully. Right, there's the fish. Okay. Uh, I'll have to get food again this round. It was a little bit unfortunate, but. I might be able to get Chickadee down as well. 
If I'm getting caches for that every time, that's okay. Hmm. Nope, that won't do it. <laughs> yeah, you can't take on a honey buzzard, I'm afraid. don't have two worms for Naganza and Dick Fissel, unfortunately. So do I take the Sapsucker instead? Get Berry, play Sapsucker. Get Naganza down. I think final round, he might be able to beat me. If I can get... Oh, I need to get another bird into the um, grasslands. I can just play this over and over, just tuck everything. Um, I might be okay. I'm 50 points already. I feel like that's a decent score. Just, can I... am I gonna lose because this is just superior? I have to see. I have to see. What do I play then? Do I, yeah, maybe I get the berry. Play Sapsucker. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Uh, oh, wait, I didn't even look to see what was in the. No, there's nothing in the tray. Um. Uh. Do I play Chickadee instead then? I'd rather get the food. Oh, I mean, I have to get food again to get the worms for these two things. Dick Fistle and the Maganza, which is really not what I want to be doing. Oh, uh, this is hard. Um. If I take the seed, hmm, maybe I play chickadee because I. How many more birds am I going to be playing? I'm probably just going to play Dick Thistle, unless I can get a really good one with Maganso. I can get so much food, I can just probably play both. So maybe I go for chickadee, which I don't really like playing such a low point bird, but. I can get at least a cash out of it. Should I even do I even need to play another bird here? Do I just prioritize getting Maganser and Dick Fistle down? Well, let's just do this, and it gives me options. Yeah, maybe I should just get Maganser down and dig once, and then I'll make my decision for me. Yeah, and then with two turns, is my opponent going to be able to get two birds into the grass, and I mean, or the wetland? Maybe. If I'm drawing cards, which is a crap, it doesn't really matter, because I can just feed into the dick thistle. Oh, we have a rough... Okay. Didn't see that one coming, but okay. If I can get another, like, white or no power in Grassland, so that takes up to three. And my opponent's going to have to be prioritizing drawing cards to feed this rough. Oh, maybe he just picks up three cards every time. Eh. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I guess I'm seeing four cards a turn now. See, so yeah, I can get this dick. I can force the dick thistle down if I want to. At the end of this round. <laughs> I could even play the Grey Heron if I wanted to. But I don't think that's a good idea.
Lark's Grieve. Yeah, well, that's even more card access. Wow, well, good thing he can't win this end of round. So I might be able to win it though if I can get a decent draw here. Nope. Ooh. That's better than this, because I can actually pick the food I want. Mmm, so maybe I do play it then. Come on, white power, come on. Hmm. Ah, damn it. That's not ideal. Um, I think it was a pelican. I'm never going to get a fish to play it, so let's just do that. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, I don't... Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think, like, what do I do next round? That's the question. I could activate Dick Fizzle three times. So that's one, two, three eggs, plus two points. So that's five points a turn. So that's 15 points right off the bat. <sighs> then what? Are you going for Chiff Chaff? Are you going to get enough cards to feed that properly? Ah, uh, maybe. Um, pff, I'm very undecided here. Do I force down Dick Thistle? Do I get cards? So I'm going to get food next round. Maybe I just activate Dick Thistle twice then? I think I need to try and end this wood, uh, win this end of round. So do I really dig? Yeah, come on, let's go for it. Oh! Hello. Is that what I need? Oh, right, that's even better. <laughs> oh, Towie, where have you been all game? Another one. Uh, don't need Towie anymore. Well, actually, do. Ooh, what am I doing here? Uh, this one I can probably ditch. Right, <laughs> okay. I have two of those birds. This is still the power. I might win in a round because of it. Or do I play this? I lose points from Ecologist. But bonus card just might be better than that. Hmm. Tough decision. <sighs> um, I kind of need the tray to be reset here to make this decision. It's very inefficient if I play this now. So do I just play the Dick Thistle then get a couple of tucks in and then I can decide. If the tray resets, I might nick the food. I might be able to play both the Woodpecker and the Bobolink if I'm lucky. Very inefficient though. Do I take the food now? Maybe I go for food. I might be able to play three birds. I don't have enough eggs. I'm one egg short. I can maybe activate. So it may, is that my play? I get food. If I'm lucky on the food draw, I might be able to get all three of these birds down and then activate Dick Thistle once. It might work, so what do I need? I need one berry. Got that. So I need a seed. I need... how many worms do I need? Three worms. I have no worms. That's a problem. I need one, two... I don't think I'm going to have enough food for this. Actually, oh do I now? Oh, do I have enough? Ah oh, no, I'm one worm short. Ah. Damn.
Well, I still think that was the right move. Yeah, so maybe I play Dick Thistle and this thingy. Where is it? Bobolink. And then I use up my extra food to get more eggs. So I think my opponent is going to be prioritizing getting cards to feed this and not actually going for food. Oh, uh, ball nest. Okay. Dunnock. Um I think this is well actually yeah, oh yeah, because the bobbling will affect this. So I just work it out for points. So if I play the bobbling, that's three points because four minus the egg. Plus three more points, because I got I'll have three of these ground nests once it's played. Whereas if I play the Woodpecker, wherever it is, is only two points because four minus two eggs, and I don't know what the bonus card is. I think when you say it like that, and also it means if I get all the link down, Ecologist is better. Yeah, I think I've convinced myself. I'll do Dick Thistle, play Bob Link, and then um, just run the Grass and Engine twice. Yeah. I think I think that's the way to do it. Uh, same as last game. I wish I had one more turn to get the food and play the um, woodpecker as well. It just came too late. Um, shame I've got no star on this. That would have been decent. I've got twelve tucks from this and four caches. That's actually pretty decent. Oh, and give me more eggs. You absolute legend. Thank you very much. Oh, Grackle. Oh, where were you earlier? Could have just kept running it forever in the wetland. Never mind. So you get this bobbling down. I don't like this because then it forces my opponent to realize that I can win end of round. But for me, it's more efficient. So I'm just going to do this. Hopefully not benefit from Oh, like I won't suffer from it. So I can play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eggs. Uh, seven. So yeah, one, two, three, four with the cherry. It's, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I get eleven more points. Well, I'm up to ninety. Eh, you know what? That's okay. That's an improvement on the last game. So I mean, I'll I'll take it. Tom Swift would be nice, but I just I wasn't getting enough worms from all this. Oh, you're laying eggs. Fantastic. That's what I want you to do. Just keep giving me points. Um so what's it doing? Oh yeah, run this. Discard the foods, uh lay eggs. Tuck the towie. And there's just enough space on the dick uh thistle to do this. So that's perfect. Okay, above 90 now. 91. Yeah, my opponent has no food. I was just trying to run this then. Gain a lot of points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Plus any tucks. So yeah, it's a better engine than I've got. I just hope if I, if I win the end of round, plus ecologist, it might be enough. But if I can get above 90, I'm pretty happy with that. That's kind of my target. <laughs> I always wanted to get above 100, but that's not been <laughs> achieved very often, to be honest. Hmm. More points, please. Um, 
spell. Doesn't really matter what I tuck, it's all the same. I might be able to win on tucks actually. Well, not with this chaffinch running. Maybe this chaffinch is too late for my opponent. I'm not sure. I don't know. You know what? I'm pretty happy. All things considered, the fact I didn't get a good wetland bird, and then my opponent got wood duck. <laughs> right from under my nose, when I just assumed my opponent had it, given the food that um, they'd collected. Um, that was pretty frustrating, that would have been a much better game for me. Oh, keep giving me... keep giving me points. Okay. So I've definitely won the end of round. So, I got a six point lead on end of round. Well, it's possible. Got some big point birds in here though. A lot of eggs. Ooh. Yeah, if I lose it might be because of uh, 32 eggs. <laughs> I'll have to see. Nine birds, ten birds. Yeah, well, we'll see. End of round, we'll get three more tucks from this. Yeah, this is going to be close. Maybe the eggs are just going to win it. That's like a third of my points is just on eggs. So yeah, I might be losing this one. But, if I'm improving my score, then I'm happy. And if I can keep learning from the game, then that's great. I do like this game a lot. Just very, very chilled. Especially with the music and the theme. It's just like, yeah. Just take it easy. Right, if I win it might be because of this, we'll see. Go to the scores. So the last time I got more bird points, then lost on eggs and tucks. Let's see if that's the same today. Okay, slight lead. Okay, pulled it back on bonus cards. So I'm going to get the win now from end of round. Whoa, that's a big lead. Come on, tucks. Wow. Oh. Damn. Whoa. It's going to be close, but it was going to be that close. So what was it? It's just the, the sheer number of eggs I got. I got more tucks at the end. Just, yeah, the eggs. Eggs for the win. Well, if I... Yeah. Wow. Great game. What a game that was. Um, let me quickly uh, do stuff in the Discord and I'll come back with my thoughts rather than holding up my opponent. Okay, right, I'm back. Um, just on all the post-game stuff. So yeah, my opponent, after that, I'm on 930 ELO, just to give you an idea. And my opponent, if it was like 200 above me, he's going to be a competitor in the uh, World Cup. That's coming up. So um, I think Sleko, I think it was, who's my opponent. Um, good, best of luck for the World Cup. Uh, thank you for the game. Um, wow, yeah, I don't really know what to think after that, to be honest. Um, it's pretty gutting to get 100, which, as I said just like five seconds before, you know, I don't really get to 100 very much, so to get to 100 and then still lose. <laughs> um, I don't know, I mean, ugh, yeah, just the egg. Oh my god, he had killed you. Uh, but probably picked up late, to be honest. Um, yeah, it didn't look too good early. That wood duck, though. <sighs> yeah. Ah, oh, that's pretty gutting, actually. I just assumed that, you know, my opponent had it. The fact it was collecting the berries of the, um, the, the seeds. I know you need seeds for partridge, but still, maybe you're just going to force the partridge down, but then got wood duck in the tree. And of course, you would take the wood duck if you see it. It's it's a very strong bird, but it's not one of the OP ones that gets banned. Um, so, um, or banned for the first round, so yeah. Um, I had the, I think I had the lead for most of it. It's just that last round just got so many eggs. So like, you know, that's seven points on its own just for eggs. Let alone the tux. Um, for the chaffinch. Yeah, and you, oh, yeah, just got just enough. You know, the stork is giving you a card every turn, so you just slowly accumulate them up for the rough. Ah. 
Damn. If it finished like one round earlier, that would have been mine, I think. That last round just got better better engine than me in the grassland. I mean that's just the end of it. My I'm quite spread out here. Um But still, I think you know, I'm still very happy, like, you know, I, I realised I could win win this end of round. So similar to the last game, got that which was a swing in points, you know, that would have been a much bigger defeat otherwise. Got the decent one here worth four points, you know, tied the other two, you know what I mean? I feel like I was doing okay. Uh, my opponent just had a plan and went for it. What was, uh, what was his bonus card? Oop, sorry people. Uh, oh, with a tuck power. Well, we didn't get that until quite late with the rough and the chaffinch, actually. Oh, wow, imagine, yeah, if you didn't get that, I mean, obviously that changes the whole game. Um, yeah, that's four points that were not really guaranteed, unless... I didn't see Ruff in the tray, so... Unless Ruff was in my opponent's starting hand and couldn't play it early? I don't know. A hard one. Oh, that's a very tough game. Um, I have, I've, yeah, it's kind of weird, this, like, relationship I've got with this game, where I'm... I, ha I had quite, I had a winning streak. Where I don't know, I maybe like out of like ten games, I might have won like seven or eight of them, something like that. Uh, but then just since then, I just I can't win a game now, and I've slumped from probably about like I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't get very high to be fair, because I'd slumped before, right? So I probably went from like nine hundred elo up to around I don't know, like ten. I don't know. I should look at the graph, like ten, fifty, ten, sixty, and then slumping back again. <laughs> um, I think in general my scores are going up, but it's just I'm just it also depends on who you get picked up picked up against, right? If you've got a lot of like really strong high elo players. I might be getting high scores, but they just eke out, you know, a couple of wins, you know, difference and or a couple of points difference and that's it. And the ELO system obviously doesn't take into account points difference when it calculates the the ELO change, which I wouldn't expect it to. Um, um but yeah. Oh well, that was a good game though, it was very good fun. And uh, yeah, um, my opponent was uh, saying I hope the game, the you know, the video will be interesting. So if you're watching Slacko, then I hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, if there's anybody else from the community who wants to post, you know, your analysis of the game or whatever, then you are more than welcome to. And hopefully, I can. If there's any mistakes that you think I've uh, missed, then you know, feel free to say so and point out my errors. I'll hopefully be able to learn. But I think I made the right decision. Two cheap birds in the forest. Got them down early. I was getting eggs this way, so I didn't have to uh, keep going to the grassland inefficiently. Cowbird really helped with that as well. I always had enough eggs. I never had to. I never had to go into the grassland like forced. To, I think, if unless I remember misremembering, I never had to go into the grassland because I was forced to play eggs to just play a bird. I always had just the right number of eggs to be able to do what I wanted to do. Um, so I think I played it pretty well, but yeah, the wood dog just kind of changed the game. But I don't blame my opponent for that. Obviously, if wood dog comes out in the, in the tray, you take it. <laughs> There's no problem. I would have done the same thing. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, folks. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties at the beginning, just the game being the game. Uh, but normally it's very reliable, to be fair. And uh, I shall see you in the next episode at some point, <laughs> very, very soon. Take care, everybody, and uh, have a good weekend. Bye-bye.